Welcome to a Skin Depth Combo. I'm Anna Kagaraikis. This is a show focused on educating and inspiring all those in the skincare and beauty industry. But it is also a show for those looking to improve themselves from the inside out. Today, we travel to the island of Hios, Greece. Mastija has caught the attention of many skincare companies because of its benefits. It's being called a natural retinol alternative. Now, Lair Clinical has been using Mastic Gum in many of its products for years, but now more skincare lines are seeing how this rare and incredible ingredient is transforming skin. We'll be joined by Maria Damala from the Hios Mastija Growers Association. We'll discuss the cultivation of the ingredient, why it has a protected designation of origin, and if any other countries have had luck harvesting the resin. Now, after listening to this episode, if you haven't heard our episode where we discuss the folklore and the mystique behind Mastija, make sure to tune in to episode number 14 of the podcast. But for now, Maria will join me and our expert hosts, Metaxia Delikis and Francine Kagarakis, right after this word from Lyra Clinical. Lyra Clinical takes today's skincare to the next level. Using cutting edge technology and the best high quality ingredients, Lyra gives you brighter, healthier, younger looking skin. With award winning products, advanced education, and innovative skincare philosophies, Lyra Clinical is redefining aesthetics and offering superior products and treatments that produce remarkable results. It's beauty from the inside out. Be bright, be beautiful, Lyra Clinical. Everyone is always trying to find the next big thing in skincare, but sometimes the most amazing ingredient is something that's been around for thousands of years. But it's all about how it's used. Mastija is a power ingredient that Lyra Clinical has used for years. And to learn more about it, we have Maria Damala joining us from the island of Hios, Greece to tell us more. Thank you for joining us, Maria. Thank you very much for your kind invitation, sending our greetings from the island of Hios. Today we have a, a sunny day here in the island, and you're welcomed uh, to ask uh, whatever you might need for Mastica, for Hios Mastica. You had met Francine and Metaxia before also in Hios, correct? Yes, we met Maria when we went to Hios. We're very honored to meet the team. It was Alesteria and Maria. Okay, we were very honored when we met you and the island of Hios when we came there and we went and visited the island and went to see how the trees were harvested. And it was very nice to meet you and Alesteria. It was also very nice for us to meeting you here in our offices and having the chance to show you anything possible about the cultivation and all things related to our product. Wonderful. Mastija has recently caught the attention of biochemists around the world as being touted as a retinol alternative, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But first, can you explain what Mastija is and how it was actually discovered? Firstly, we could tell you some things about the Mastija tree, which is an evergreen shrub, two to three meters in high. It is uh, cultivated systematically and uh, exclusively in the south part of Hios, only in the south part of Hios, although the specific species in its uh, wild form uh, can grow throughout all the Mediterranean basin. The mastic tree uh, belongs to the family Anarchadiaceae, genus Pistachia, species Lentiscus, uh, while the variety that grows in our island is called Hia. A Mastica tree is a tree that grows slowly. Uh, it can be productive after five uh, to seven years, produces the maximum quantity after 15 years, and it is productive till almost its 100 years. Uh, Here's Mastica is actually the resin, uh, the resin sap that it is produced from the Mastica tree. It is a natural and very aromatic resin. It falls uh, uh, on the ground in drops from superficial scratches that the producers are making in the tree trunk and the main branches with some sharp tools they use. As it drips down, this sap appears as a sticky a liquid which uh, uh, after 15 to 20 days it is solidified into irregular shapes influenced by the area's weather conditions during summertime. It is intense drought and intense sunlight. After it is being solidified it has a crystal form 
which is a rather bitter taste, quickly subsides in order to leave a distinctive aroma. This aroma is something that makes the product unique since the antiquity. That solid product is then harvested. It is washed by the Masticha cultivators in their space. Finally, gives us the natural Hughes Masticha, the product that you know. Uh, Maria, how did it become a PDO? How did that happen? This happened in 1997. And actually, Masticha was uh, in the first list of products that have been recognized as PDO. And it is amongst the, the 100 more emblematic PDO products of the EU today. At this time, on 1997, Hughes Masticha has been characterized as a product of protected designation of origin on the basis of, of the regulation 123 of 1997. According to this above regulation, the product is protected from the sale of any competitive imitation product whatsoever that would undermine the reputation of the designation of origin. That is the reason, as Masticha is actually an emblematic PDO product for the European Union, uh, this is the reason that uh, EU keeps making uh, many bilateral relations with other foreign countries across the world in order to expand the PDO mark of the product. We could say actually that PDO for us, for, for our product, it is a global trademark. How was the Hios Masticha Growers Association formed? Hughes Masticha has a very big history. If you go back to the past, uh, you can find Masticha even since ancient times. Masticha Strait has been very famous during Byzantium times, after this during the Genoese occupation of the island, and after this during the Ottoman occupation. Masticha Strait uh, thrived all this period that we're talking about until the beginning of the 20th century when the First World War caused a severe crisis to the product. By the end of the war and the return to stability, uh, the Masticha growers actually couldn't find a way to restart the, the commerce of Masticha. They couldn't sell the product actually very easily in the markets. And that difficult situation captured the state's attention. This had as a result uh, to make a law in the year 1938. It's the year that actually the Hughes Masticha Growers Association has been founded. All the Masticha producers had the obligation to deliver their product to this association. Already from the first year of its foundation, the association tripled the price paid to the growers, and this has been something very good, especially on those very tough and difficult days. In the next year, the association managed perfectly to justify the reason of its establishment, until even nowadays, is the only safe way for the producers to handle economically and commercially their product. A lot of people are trying to grow mastica in different parts of the world, but they're not having the same success as the southern part of Hios. Can you tell us how many other countries are trying to grow mastica? Actually, the wild form of pistachio lentiscus tree exists in all the Mediterranean basin. But yes. only in the south part of the Hios Island, it can be cultivated and says uh, be productive. Actually, uh, there have been quite many attempts for the cultivation of the trees in other places of this extended region, but they all have been uh, unsuccessful. Imagine that not even in the north part of Hios, a masticha can be produced. Not even in the north. Why is it that it doesn't work? There are uh, probably three reasons for this, for this exclusive cultivation and production of masticha specifically in the south part of Hughes Island. The first one is the special microclimate of the area, uh, which has a mild winter and a completely dry summer, combined with, uh, with the calcareous soils of the region. The southern part is a hilly part that acquires special climate, mild in winter, very dry in summer. It often rains all over the island, except from South Hughes. The dry, hot summers of the Mastichochoria, as we say, the villages of Masticha, allow the Masticha to dry out easily and uh, form the resin that you all know. Second reason 
is that since ancient times, Mastiha tree growers used to identify the most productive trees that produce more and better resin. In this way, over the centuries, uh, this methodical eugenics uh, created a new variety of productive Mastiha. Modern botany has recognized it as a separate variety and uh, gave the name to the product, uh, the name of Pistachia lentiscus variety here. And uh, there is also a third reason, that it is the good management that the ancient Hians made. They systematized the cultivation, they standardized the product and imposed it on the market, as well as the know-how in the cultivation and also in the cleaning process of Masticha. That is fascinating. Maria, we get emails from the association on the updates and the white papers and the data that you guys are doing for the medicinal value of Masticha, which is so incredible what we're still finding the benefits of this resin it is worldwide recognized that it is continuously helping with internal benefits and external benefits am i right mm-hmm. has been recognized since ancient times both for its distinctive aroma also for its uh, healing properties it has been recorded as the first natural chewing gum of the ancient world. The medicinal dimensions of Kyos Masticha has been, have been known since uh, ancient times. For example, Dioscuridis, Galinos and others uh, that were the first to report on the therapeutic properties of the product, mainly for the treatment of stomach disorders. Today, uh, we have more than 300 scientific studies and we know that Masticha has strong antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant effect. Due to these properties, Masticha contributes to the protection and treatment of several uh, health problems like dyspeptic problems, ulcers, elimination of the helicobacter pylori, ulcerative colitis, etc. It also has positive effects in other health problem categories like uh, reducing blood glucose, cholesterol, and uh, blood pressure. Also, in co- it contributes to the maintenance of oral hygiene because of this antimicrobial action that we have uh, mentioned. And finally, also to the healing of wounds and the skin re- regeneration. This is the most important benefit the product has. And because of, the, of all those benefits, we have this expansion, let's say, of the products throughout all over the world in so many countries and so many uses. Lira has been using Masticha now for almost 10 years. Mm-hmm. And I have to say the effects and the benefits on the skin is amazing. I think okay. some of our top sellers in Lira have benefited from the ingredients Masticha in the formulation. What for us, what we've noticed is the anti-aging effect means pigment, lessening the pigment on the surface, refining the pores, causing the skin to be balanced and healthy. And I have to say for our success, having this ingredient offered in some of our formulations have definitely benefited the aesthetic industry all over the world. We are very excited to say that every time you come up with a new form of Mastica, we're excited to try it in a new formulation. We currently use four different forms. We use it in granules. We use it in an extract. My favorite personally is the oil, which is very, very powerful. And the new one that we tried and we put it into a special mask was freeze dried. Is there one that we're missing? Uh, if you are talking to me, I think, no, you, you said everything. <laughs> we have found that the oil is very, very powerful. We actually even use two different forms in many of our products. And as Metaxia was saying earlier, we started using Mastica oil first and we started using the extract. And then we found all the benefits, especially with pigmentation and refining pores. And now there's even more science showing how it's even helping as the natural retinol in the skin for tightening and brightening. So we're very, very excited to say that we fell in love with it even before all the studies came out. I think also, Fran, we have to say that we go directly to the association to get the Mastica. We go direct, we bring it over. The association has been really a positive source of information and they really have helped us bring the Mastica over and we direct it to the labs of which we use. 
but going to the direct source for this has really made a difference because I've seen other imitation Mastika in the industry and I ask where they get it from and it's not from the source. And I think supporting the association and supporting what they've done from 1938 is also important to Lyra because we definitely want to complement all the resources that you've done and all the hard work the association has done and honor and respect heels for what they produce for this world. When we went to your website, I think it was Metaxia that actually looked it up and we actually joined Adopt Heels Trees. And we're very proud to say we are sponsors. We sponsor a lot of our own employees and our wonderful customers. And we're very proud to maintain and help the Heels Trees as best we can. Thank you very much. One more thing, if anyone wants to travel to Greece, they have a museum. And the museum is really a lot of information about the history. Can you tell us a little bit about the museum, Maria? The museum is an ideal place in order to to see all the history, the cultural heritage, all things that have to do with the cultivation of, of Masticha throughout all the centuries. It's really a very important infrastructure for, uh, for the whole island. It attracts so many people all over the world, so many visitors, and they get in touch with the product and its history. And this has been something very important. Maybe for, for me, I, I think it's the most important investment uh, that has been made in the island in the last few years. Now, Maria, I know Metaxia had mentioned there are people who, if they're trying to get masika and they get the wrong one or the imitation masika, talk about the importance of going through the Hios Masika Growers Association and why it's important to go directly through you. What Metaxia says is uh, something that really happens sometimes. Maybe a reason for this is that our production is limited. As it is a unique product, we always uh, try to give incentives to the producers in order to plant more trees and increase their uh, production. But as the demand, the global demand, is much higher than the capability that we have at the moment, other resins that uh, they, are, they are not masticha, they are fake masticha, they can find a way to move into the market. Of course, we make attempts, uh, we make legal attempts in several countries in order to diminish the situation. For example, we make a DNA test in uh, products that seek and find that uh, they circulate in the market. But this is actually something that happens when, and we try in general to eliminate as much as possible. And then more and more companies are starting to really discover the magic of Masika. You already just said that there's more people around the world who want it. You don't have the capabilities to fulfill all those needs. But what brought on this shift in its recent popularity? We're hearing it being called a natural retinol alternative for certain companies. But what brought on that popularity? Look, Masticha is exported nowadays to more than 60 countries and almost the 80% of its total sales uh, goes abroad to several markets. The markets for Masticha are divided into traditional markets with main use in food and uh, we also have the new markets with main use in medicine or cosmetology. The most important market today for Masticha is the Middle East, North Africa region. They have uh, the traditional, let's say, use of, of the product. And new markets are America, Korea, France, etc. Also, Masticha has big international recognition in the last uh, decades with health claims in countries such as Europe, Korea, Canada, Australia, India, etc. At the same time, the European Union, specifically the EMA, since uh, 2015 has issued the Masticha monograph as a natural medicine with two indications, one for dyspeptic problems and second for skin regeneration and wound healing. Also, something that uh, could interest you is that even since 1914, the USA Pharmacopeia already mentions medicinal recipes with Hios Masticha for the stomach disorders. All this international recognition and also all those uh, researches that I've already told you that have been made uh, for Masticha, all those studies, have uh, led to this expand of, uh, of sales and uses uh, throughout all over the world. You know, Maria, I want to thank you again. When we came to Greece, it was during a time where it was still COVID, but you opened the doors to us. We went in, our team came in, we were able to meet you and your team. And we want to thank you so very much for being so hospitable to us and showing us 
the benefits of Mastika and just reminding us how special it is and how lucky we are to be able to use this ingredient within our brand. So thank you. The Lyra team wants to thank the association because with your beautiful ingredients, you've also made us a very successful company. Our, a lot of our awards that we win is because of the ingredient Mastika in some of the formulations, but your true commitment to excellence is an example that we also want to carry with Lyra and have the best ingredients and formulations consistent with the quality and be able to produce something that's going to be best in the market. I think that's what we want to do, achieve the best in the market. And with your help, we've done very, very well. We want to thank you as a team. Thanks a lot. Something more that I would like each in order to inform you that this year uh, started its operations, a research center uh, for Masticha. It is situated in Hughes Island again, and it is a research center that will support all research and development of, uh, of Masticha and Masticha applications in several products. And uh, this is something that uh, will help not only the sales of the product to be more expanded, but also will help uh, uh, to find other formulations and applications of the product that uh, we could spread uh, to our customers and help in the best way possible. Well, what I'm hearing is we should be ingesting it and topically putting it on. So <laughs> I think there's many forms that we're going to have to keep looking into because it's a very, very unique ingredient that we're very proud to say we use. Anything coming new out of the research center that you you want to share with us? Uh, the research center has now started actually its operations. Now they have started. Uh, there is an R and D department there. Uh, there are uh, chemists and other type of employees there. For example, now they produce pharmaceutical wood healing cream using the freeze dry technology for mastica dissolution. This is something that they are making right now for example. Also, they are uh, making attempts of integration of Hughes Mastica in creamy products. There are several kind of operations they are doing there, and we are waiting for the results. Maria, if we were to plan another trip next year to Heels, can we have an appointment with the R&D department? Because that's yes, something yes, new. Yes, of course. Of course. This is exactly why the reason for making this research center, in order to help our customers. So of course, you would be welcome come and uh, visit there and make any kind of conversation with people that could help you on this. We're making uh, reservations right now. So. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm arranging this. Yeah, we, we love we love talking to chemists. We love sitting in a lab and understanding mm -hmm. and doing different protocols and playing with prototypes. That's our favorite part of this whole of this whole business because you learn so much and you share so much. And uh, I think Francine's right. We're probably going to make arrangements as a team to come and visit again Kios. It was the best exposure for us as far as understanding the culture, understanding the island, and being part of the trees. I think touching and feeling the trees brings it home for us. Yes, yes. I think you're right. It's well, very you... important uh, for someone to come here and see on his own. The island, the cultivation, the way we produce the product, all these things are very important. And we will continue to make sure to remind people how important and all the new advances with Mastija. And we want to thank you so very much for taking the time today with us. It's very important because, again, the research is so important to know that when you're using a product, you understand that those ingredients are brought in in a very special way and are used. So when you're using these products on your skin, you know they're using the best. I mean, I, I think Francine and Metax would be like kids in a candy store when they come out to <laughs> the research center over there. But where can people find out more about Mastica and the Growers Association? You could find more information in our website, which is www.gammastic.gr. There we have tried to accumulate uh, all the necessary information that somebody could firstly need in order to get a glance in uh, the product and its production, its history and everything. And of course, if you need uh, further information, more technical, for example, of course, you can get in contact with uh, our department and we will be willing to, to reply on anything you need. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Maria, for all that wonderful information. And we appreciate you taking the time with us today on a Skin Depth Convo. And thank you very much. Maria, we really appreciate you taking the time. I know it's late over there to do this for us. Thank you so no very much.
You're wonderful, and uh, the association should be very honored to have someone who is that diligent in the way you came across. We're very proud of Greece. We're very proud of Hios, and we try not to be too only Greek, but we are so proud when we come across as a culture that is proud of our roots. We are also very proud to have customers like your company, really. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. A big thank you to Maria for joining us today. And make sure to check out the entire Lyric Clinical Mystique line. The Mastec Skin Brightening Technology brings out your skin's radiance. The Mystique Illuminating Cleanser was voted the winner of Dermascope's Estheticians Choice Awards for 2022. The Skin Brightening Cream Cleanser both hydrates and soothes with Mastica, orange plant stem cells, and a botanical blend. There's so many other incredible products in that line, like the beauty oil, the polisher, the cryo mask, and so much more. You can learn more by going to LyraClinical.com. And make sure to follow Lyra Clinical's social media channels at Lyra Clinical. And of course, thank you all for listening to today's show. That will do it for today. For all of us at A Skin Depth Convo, I'm Anna Kagarakis, and we'll talk soon.